If you are like me who has been using Google Chrome to store all the login passwords, then now is the time to move to a third party password manager. But why do you want to do that? Well, in Google Chrome, all the passwords are stored in simple plain text. So let's say if somebody get access to your Google account or even your device password, then they have pretty much access to all your password. Now here's a cool thing. A recent update in Chrome allows you to export password, which means you can easily import all your password from Chrome to any third party password manager. You don't have to type them manually. But why use a password manager in the first place? Well, unlike Google Chrome, they encrypt your password, meaning even if somebody has access to your password, they cannot see it. And then there are other perks like password generation. You can share your login credentials securely with friends and family. And yes, it works seamlessly between desktop and mobile devices. Seamless, isn't it? So let's see how it works. Open up your computer and from your Chrome browser, go to password export Chrome flag. Link will be in the description and set the password export feature to enable and then relaunch the browser. Yes, you can also do it from your mobile devices, but in our experience, it didn't work well. So let's stick to the desktop. Next, head over to Chrome settings, go to password and then manage password. And then click on this three vertical dots that says save password. And now choose export and it will download a CSV file containing all the login credential. Next, you need to import this file into a password manager. For this instance, we are going with LastPass. It's free and works really well. In fact, we have even covered it in our Productivity Tuesday video. So let's go with that. So simply create a LastPass account. Since I already have one, I will just log into that. Now click on the more option and then select import CSV file. Now go back to the file that you have just downloaded, open it with notepad or text editor and copy the whole thing. Now go back to LastPass and paste it. Voila, there you go. Now say if I have to log into Twitter from my desktop, then you will have to install LastPass Chrome browser extension and then you will see a pop-up. Similarly on your Android device, it will automatically detect login and autofill it. How cool is that? Overall, it is something that wouldn't make big difference to your life, but these small things definitely add up. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what videos would you like me to cover in Productivity Tuesday series. Yes, we are coming back with that. Like always, it's Minal signing off and I will see you in the next one.